you down. Hey, Anthony, I want to start asking you about THT. Uh, he said the two guys that he kind of admired as he grew up in Chicago were you and D. Rose. Uh, Rose, of course, uh, on the floor tonight, been making a lot of key plays. Uh, what did what did you see from Taylor, uh, the game winner, too, but just with all of that in context? I'm going to just sum it up for you, Mike. Um, come down, got a big turnover uh, when we're trying to run a set and uh, turned it over. I think they hit a three, go up one. Um, and he comes down and hits a big three. You know, the kid has confidence. He has heart, you know, um, for the second year in the league, you know, you don't you don't see that from a lot of players. And, you know, for him to come off a turnover, we on him, you know, because we're getting close to the playoffs and telling him we can't make those mistakes to, you know, have the next play uh, mindset and come down and hit in you know, a game winning three is, is, is huge. Um, but that just sums up, you know, Taylor right there. Is there is there some tie there in Chicago? Do you guys ever talk about that? Is he, you know, him same high school as D Rose, and uh, you guys aren't that much older than him. But again, he was a kid when you guys were doing your thing there. Yeah, um, you know, he talks about all the time how he used to watch me and Pooh all the time and and admired us and um, you know always wants to be like us and get to where we were. <clears throat> and now he's here making big time plays. So uh, it's my young fella, man. He. He wants to learn. He wants to be great in his league. He wants to make the right plays. Um, and, it, and he always asks him questions. He's always asking questions um, to everybody, you know, not just me, but to everybody on the team, to the coaches. Um, and that, that's all you can ask for from a young player, you know, to, to want to get better and want to, um, you know, make everyone else better. And AD, just looked like you took a couple knocks there. How did you come through that game physically? You know, I'm hurt. <laughs> Um, not more so my body, just, you know, my groin got tight. Um, you know, that, that was, that was really it. I'm not sure where it came from, uh, but the groin got a little tight. Um, and there's no way I was coming off the game. I mean, big game for us, you know, a team who's playing real high, you know, the situation that we're in trying to battle for, for six and, um, it's a big game for them, but they're trying to battle for fourth, um, and keep that fourth seed. So, uh, I think they might be six now after the loss. I'm not sure, but, you know, it was a huge game from us and I didn't want to, um, come out no matter injury and, and uh, finish the game and make sure we secure the win. Kyle. AD, for, well, first I just want to follow up on that. Um, you know, how, how, how obviously you didn't want to come out. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about tomorrow? And two, um, what, what uh, do you feel like taking on Julius for those last couple possessions of regulation and overtime? Um, not sure about tomorrow. I mean, I'm going to get treatment and see how I feel. Um, nah, I want to say I'm going to play, but it was really bothering me tonight. Um, but we'll see how I feel tomorrow. Um, and then later on in the day, you know, it's a very, very strong possibility that I, that I, you know, fight through it in play since the next day is off day, but also don't want to have this lagging and then now I'm out for a couple games. So, I mean, we'll see how I feel. And then, uh, you know, Juice, that's my guy. Um, play with him in New Orleans and, um, you know, he's definitely developed this game with the shooting ability and off the dribble. And, you know, the last couple possession, I just had to lock in defensively um, and make sure that he he, he wasn't, you know, going to score and help the team. I mean, I feel like I made, I let him, well, I made him hit the three with my contest at the end. Uh, he shot a little higher than, than normal. Um, but, but, I mean, he's been playing like this all, all year. Um, you know, I think he's an MVP candidate. Uh he for sure should win most improved. I mean, what he's doing, got his got this team uh, <clears throat> in the playoffs right now. Um, you know, for a team who hasn't been in the playoffs for a while. So um, he, he's playing his ass off. Uh, you can do that for a second. Okay, last three. Uh, Dan. Anthony, this team has been through so much this year in terms of guys being out, um, inconsistent stretches. I mean, you played tonight with <clears throat> no point guards, essentially, um, after Alex goes out. Uh, have, have you noticed an uptick in confidence, though, um, over kind of kind of this stretch as you've come back, as you guys have beaten, you know, Denver and Phoenix and, and now the Knicks? Have you have you seen something different kind of in the group as you head into the postseason? Uh, we know the position we're in, and we're playing desperate. Um, we're fighting. We're playing hard. Uh, you know, that's all we can all we can do. You know, guys have been in and out of the lineup all year. Um, you know, Dennis, myself, Brian. You know, Kenny, Kuz, like everyone has <laughs> been in and out of their lineup. So, um, 
we always had a not next man up mindset and everybody's playing well. You know, guys are getting minutes and coming in and performing, which is going to be tough for us. You know, playoffs, you cut down, you know, rotations. But, um, you know, we might, we might, you know, keep that rotation at nine, ten guys. So um, it's good that everyone's getting confidence. Guys are staying ready when their number is called. Uh, West has been playing huge the past couple games for us. Um, big plays after big plays. Uh, so, you know, we're excited about our group, um, especially when everyone come back and get healthy. Um, you know, then we'll figure it out from there. Okay, last two. Uh, Eddie, obviously we're still not at full capacity or really close to it here at Staples Center, but it seemed to me like you uh, – No, I'm sorry? No, no, I said it got loud. Oh, yeah, yeah, it got loud. And then also it seemed to me like some of the uh, Knicks fans caught your attention. Um, yeah. did, did you enjoy that element and how much um, does that factor into what you guys are looking forward to um, with what's to come in the postseason considering last year you didn't have that? Yeah, you missed that, man. You miss it. Um, you know, obviously the Knicks fans are talking to the position that they're in uh, and they have the right to do so. You know, their team is playing well. Uh, they have the right to talk. Um, you just can't you know, continue to talk when you got when they lose. You know, this doesn't make sense. So uh, the fans are over there talking all night, um, which is fun. <laughs> which is fun for me. Uh, it's fun for our group. Um, and then you know, the whole team came over there talking smack, uh, uh, smack to them. So it's fun. You missed that element of the game. You know, we like you said, we didn't have it last year. Um, it hasn't really been anybody to come in this building that. Um, their team is cheering for them over Laker Nation, and you know, so that kind of stood out to me and. Uh, you know, it was fun getting to win in front of them and, and talking and talking trash to them. So, uh, you know, it, it's all a part of the basketball. And, and, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone in the league misses, misses that. Last question, Bill. AD, you guys have kind of taken your lumps at points over these last couple of weeks without LeBron. Uh, if he's able to come back tomorrow, what kind of statement do you think it sent or what do you think was the value or the importance of getting a win like this in your last game without him? Uh, it's good. You know, like I said, it's a confidence booster for us. Uh, we've been playing well um, as of late. And uh, if he comes back tomorrow, then we can, you know, get him back um, acclimated with, with the team and, and get him back in that rhythm. Um, and if he doesn't, you know, then he doesn't. But we want him to get healthy, you know, first and foremost, get ready for the playoffs. So um, I show what he's going to do. You know, that's, you know, none of my business. I just want him to get healthy. But uh, my job is to go out here and help this team. And if he's able to come back tomorrow, then, um, you know, it's our job to get him back into the rhythm to, to get ready for uh, playoff mode, which we know he'll be ready for. Thank you.